Hi, I'm Lars Brubaker, and this is Two Minutes with Matter Control. Today, we are going to look at the on-screen controls up here on the right side of your screen. So first, we're just going to look at the default controller, which is the select parts. We can rubber band select things. We can rubber band select multiple things or single things. And uh, of course, we can always just click on things as well. So that's very simple. But let's dig into some of the other components here. So here we have the view contr controls. And we can rotate the view by clicking this here. Very useful if you're on a touch screen. We can also use this control, which lets us move around the screen from the exact point on the model that we click. And finally, we have zoom controls. So that lets us zoom in using the mouse, uh, left mouse button to go exactly where we want to go. We can also use the right mouse button here to rotate the screen. We can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And then we have some hotkeys like control shift that lets us move around the screen like if we're on a laptop. Now we have the tumble cube here. This allows us to go to specific rotations of the view. So we can go to the front, we can go to this top view. Um, and if you are familiar with CAD tools, it can be very useful to model from those positions. And if you ever mess up the view, you can just click home and reset it to where it starts and then zoom to selection. So if you have a specific thing that you're trying to edit, sometimes it can be very useful to zoom into that specific object. And then I hit control A here and I zoom back out to everything. Uh, next, we're gonna look at the turntable mode. So turntable essentially is like if you have a record player and you can rotate the screen around and it stays centered and everything stays upright. A very intuitive way to go. Now, when you want to turn that off is basically if you've used another tool and you're familiar with it. Otherwise, I would just leave it turned on. Now, perspective mode is what you normally have when you're looking at anything. Things in the distance are smaller than things that are up close to the camera. But some CAD tools like to make everything the same size. So they remain the same size whether they're far away from the camera or they're close to the camera. And if you are aware of this, if it's a tool that you want to use, it can be very powerful. Otherwise, again, I would just leave that off. Here we can show and hide the print bed. Uh, if we were on an actual printer, you could show and hide, hide the print volume. And then we have these tools down here. This one that we're gonna look at first, which is the snapping grid. And it allows us, as we're editing parts, to position them with a little more, a little more ease, a little more accuracy. So right now it's set to one. And that means that as we're moving things around, they snap, we can turn it off and move things around very freely. We can turn it up to five and have things snap at bigger increments. Um, and that is a very powerful way to help you do some modeling. Next, we have the, uh, the view modes here, and I'm gonna just show overhang. So overhang kind of helps you as you're 3D printing to see which parts of your model might need support material. So here we can see these red, these red faces on the bottom of our part really helps us understand that that is facing the bed and might need some support. So that is a very quick overview of the controls in Matter Control. Hopefully that helps you navigate, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.